top tips on how to run your own letting and estate agency as a couple and as parents. Thanks for joining me today. I'm joined by Michaela and Tony Annika, who are estate agent, letting agents, landlords, supremos, lovely, gorgeous people. Um, you, you've been running your own letting agency now, but on and off for the last 20 years. Uh, Michaela, how did you spin the plates of running a household and running a letting and estate agency? Talk to me. Okay, so um, one of the things about setting up the agency, uh, in a way it did give us some freedom um, because it meant that we could, as we were working together, we could look after the children together. So I would be working on one thing, Tony would go and pick them up from school. Sports days, we were always there. One of us was always there. Um, I think the hardest times was the school holidays when we both needed to be in the office and they were left on their own. Not when they were really small, but when they got older. When they were um, two or three. No, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, Change and... the radiator. That... But no, don't do that. <laughs> and I can't tell you how many au pairs I went through. They had loads of au pairs. Yeah. Um, they did a few weeks and they left because they couldn't, they couldn't cope. Um, but generally, I think the good thing about it is my children learned about business. They learned about the struggles and how you have to keep going. And I've seen that, especially my youngest, who started her own um, beauty business. How old is she? She's, she's, 24. she's 24, but she started when she was 20. That's, so, that's a decent age for... A... Yeah. yeah, and she was determined to do it. She went to university and dropped out after the first year. Mm -hmm. Wasn't for her, didn't push her. Um, and my other daughter, she's quite resilient as well. She's, she's an influencer. And she's learned that you have to finish something. Um, she's like she's got certain, a first class degree in a, in Yeah, she's got a first first class degree in uh, business and uh, international business, isn't yeah, it? And yeah. globalization. Global, yeah, okay. she's a bit of a globe trotter. <laughs> <laughs> what? So she she's now a, she's one of those proper social media influencers that goes around. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what 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 does she influence people on? She's um, she's about body positivity. Okay. And um, she is, whereas she's a bit of an introvert, but she's also an extrovert as well. She's a mixture of both. Um, but she believes in, in body positivity and she has didn't quite she a lot lose of lot of? Didn't she, was she that the daughter that lost a lot of weight? No, that, that's, the that's, one. that's the younger one. That's the younger one. Her business is centred around beauty. So you have to look the part. So that's why she decided that she wanted... Because uh... you lost a lot of weight, and obviously she did as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. I've put a little bit of weight back on, yes. but uh, <laughs> I, did, uh, I did lose 10 stones because I had my knee replaced. So. <laughs> Too many holidays. <laughs> Too, many... I <laughs> Too many dinners. <laughs> you will. And, I mean, whilst you, whilst you were bring your children up, I know you also did a, a degree in psychology, and, and you were helping... You were helping children. You said in the previous video, do check it out, boys and girls, um, that you you were counselling children, and the children were saying, "I wish you were my mum." But then you had your daughter at home. Was it the younger or older one that was no, no, saying, the oldest one? Yeah, saying, "I wish you weren't my mum." You know, <laughs> yeah. did, did you? How did you? How did you square the the circle of suffering from mum guilt? Um, I think it was really hard. I think. Um... I think I felt like I was a bit of a failure um, looking after them because the other mums were so perfect. Well, I, I thought they were perfect. Yeah, but they probably got imposter syndrome. <laughs> 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 yeah, and the, the other mums would be at the gate. and um, Or, I mean, I, I'll give you an example. Like, um, we had a birthday party and I forgot to order the uh, phone machine. I always had the birthday parties at home and all the parents were absolutely disgusted that I left the front door open. I never locked it. But they all lived in London and I live in a place where it's a small cul-de-sac and everybody knows everybody. So I improvised. And what I did was I told all the kids to go in the garden and I was chucking buckets of water <laughs> at them. I, 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 and they loved it. They loved all the fun. 
but the parents said I was a very irresponsible parent. Those were the kind of guilty times I used to go through. And I used to think that I wasn't very good, but they had a good time. I, I mean, I always tried to make up for not being there. If I had your daughters on the sofa now, what would they say, Tony? What she will say now is that they have become friendly. But before she went to university, it was always their clash. So they have the same personality, stubborn, you know, yes, I got to, they used to clash. But since you come back from university, you know, it's totally different. Now they're they they friends, they go swimming together now. So, so you 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 were you were a good mum. That's not that's not in question, is it? No, it's not. No. What would you say to your former self now, or let's just say for argument's sake, your daughter suffered from that in a few years' time? The mum guilt. I think that um, if I had my time again, I wouldn't keep buying them things to try and make up for stuff. I'd stop the work. I'd I'd have boundaries. I would I would have I would have made time for this. Time management was my issue, mm. so I would have made time for that. I would have made time for them. I would have done that. I think that's what I would have done again. Tony, do you think you could have done anything better when you were bringing children up? On my own part, I don't think I could have done anything better because I was more interested in, concentrated in the business. I help out in the morning. I take them to because you said you said you 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 your Nigerian heritage and the father doesn't particularly get involved with, with the no. upbringing of the children. No. Do you think Tony could have been better? Um, he he did though. Yeah. He used to do their uniform. Yeah. So so, so that was, was a break good. from tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. I, I used to take them swimming, take them to school, bring them in and go and pick them up. So it was totally different from our culture, but well, obviously got to adapt. And why, why did you act like that if it wasn't traditional in your, you know, from, from your upbr your heritage to do that? You I, just... I was born in Nigeria, but I was made in London. So I know the system. <laughs> but what advice would you give to both men and women about running a business. We said that, you know, you, you, you run it together and there's a lot of people watching this who are husband and wife teams. Yeah. Um, what, what advice would you give to, to them by running an agency, running a family and, and everything that goes involved with that? Um, I think that I had to put my foot down eventually. With a firm hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> with regards to bringing it home. It had to stop being at home because we were working so many hours, then we'd come home and we'd start arguing about something else. Mm. So we learned to, so if we had a row at home about the kids or something else, we didn't take it to work. No. So you would never know at work that we'd had a row mm. about the kids, but then at home, we tried so desperately not to take the office home as well because we had to try and it took several years to do that, but I could see the effect it was having on the kids yeah. because they could hear every single row we were having yes. about mm -hmm. Mrs. Jones whose lettings yes. fell yeah. through yeah. or yeah. whatever, yeah. you know, that type of thing. <laughs> well, thank you for that insight, the pair of you. It's been very insightful. And I hope you've learned something from that. Thank you for your time today. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.